hello everyone uh, this is asm arif i'm gonna show you how to edit photo that means the outward portrait of uh, the model let's see how to open or how to edit that one at first go to the open option then go to the folder where you have kept your uh, photo and i'm opening up just okay if this one is a nifa raw file it will open in camera raw filter uh, one thing is that if you are using um, the photoshop edit cloud then you will get this camera raw filter automatically otherwise you have to install this camera raw plugins uh, manually okay i'm just just doing edit uh, some basic edit actually and then open image after opening this one uh, please make a copy of this image uh, for the safety purpose and then go to the filter then camera of filter this is my photo and i will edit this one here is some tabs uh, which is uh, the different functions and you can edit from the different angles and the different things mm, the first tab is for the basic basic that means the temperature tint exposure the contrast highlights shadow whitens blacks and uh, clarity variance saturation the next slide is that um, the curves curves and um, two types of curves in the point curves and the parametric curve curves and after that uh, you will get the sharpening or detail um, if you want to increase or decrease increase your sharpness of your image then you should um, use this tab after that the colors gray scales and the hue saturation and luminance uh, you know all the uh, uh, pictures has uh, uh, colors which is cmyk and rgb and the opposite side of rgb is the cmy okay after that that is the uh, highlights the split toning if you want to do uh, split toning in your image then you can do uh, or you can use this one and after that the lens correction if you have any kind of lens correction in your picture suppose you want to uh, just uh, distort this one if you want to change the perspective of your image then uh, you have to use this lens correction field okay after that the effects if you want to give some effects uh, suppose this type of effects the vignetic effect like that okay you can give that okay after that the camera calibration and um, this one some the famous photographer of the world they are using this type this uh, camera calibration um, like um, the max singerman or other the this type of photographers who who are the most famous in instagram and uh, all around the world okay let's see at first from the basic okay i'll just the temperature i'll minus the temperature and increase the tint and then exposure i think exposure is okay and i will increase the contrast okay i will decrease the highlight after that the shadow and the white and blacks and give some blacks okay after that clarity i will increase the clarity i will give it um, five percent and the variance five percent and saturation five percent after that i will go to the sharpening tab and i will increase the amount of sharpening and i'll give some luminance luminance is um, uh, for the new uh, reduce the green from your image after that i will go to the hls and grayscale tabs um, i'll decrease the saturation or uh, luminance luminance of the yellow saturation of the yellow after that increase the luminance of orange and decrease the luminance of red saturation and the hue also and i'll decrease the luminance of green and also magenta and hue hue option i will just give some hue uh, just cyan hue okay and luminance i'll decrease the luminance of sky okay and heat okay it 
will take time okay this one is the previous image and the, now the present image and i will copy this layer and now i will do color correction i have done the color correction and now i'll do the skin retouch of the model and i'll go to the filter then the positive filter i'll give you the link of positive filter download and I will give uh, also the link of tutorial how to set up the attitude on your Photoshop Creative Cloud. Okay, here is some settings. Uh, in, uh, basic settings. I'll go to the enhancements, this uh, option, and I'll increase the brightness of the model, brightness of the face, and just give some softness. okay this one is the difference the before one and the after one hit okay okay it's loading and press so uh, what happened now uh, the previous image was in, uh, the sky and the background all are in, uh, the nice in, balanced but in this image already you know, just uh, it <coughs> goes to the uh, lighter i don't want to do that but what should i do i do uh, I'll have to make it mask and inverse marks mask by pressing ctrl I and then I'll just Change this face or this area Okay, go to the brush and change the foreground and background make it white when it is black Okay Increase the brush size by pressing uh, the third bracket closing and brush over the face of the model Okay, face carefully. Face on a brush, brush on a face. Okay. After that, the skin of the hand, brush those things. Sometimes we forget to brush the hand skin. <laughs> that's not good okay now this one is nice after that uh, i'll go to those two layer and make it group and make the merge by pressing ctrl shift alter e and i'll go to the color lookup and give some effect which is the fujifilm effect and and decrease the fill option i'll give it 23 percent with the change okay after that i'll go to the color lookup and give the horror blue option and i'll the i'll reduce the opacity which is 23 percent or only 10 percent that's good but in a phase in a phase uh, it makes uh, you know, something and i will reduce uh, uh, some uh, color lookup from the face and i'll go to the brush again and opacity and flow i'll reduce after that i'll brush over there make it black when it is white okay just brush over the skin okay that's good after that make it group all the layers and make it uh, merge by pressing ctrl alter and make another copy of the layer after that i'll make it the overly and go to the edit option after that go to the fill and 50 percent gray i'll fill it what i'll do i'll just dodge and burn the face dodge what is dodge and burn dodge burn is the that thing you know, the shadow and the highlights the one in one what you can tell it the shadow and highlights okay make it reset and after that go to burn and dodge what is burn and hot it dodge dodge is the increasing of the light from the face or highlighted areas i'll give some highlighted and the burn option i'll give the burn thing or the highlighted something um, uh, suppose the hair is black no, it's good 
if you make it more black okay I'll just give some burn option in the eyebrows and the lips also and the eyes okay after that i will burn or uh, decrease the light of the shari it will be prominent because of um, the shadows here are more shadows in the shadows and in place okay i'll give some here just because of the shadows now this one is good after that i'll go to the gradient map and i'll choose a gradient which is multicolor and make it in the soft light and i'll give only uh only 17 percent this why i have used that just because of when the dusk of the sky uh, in this section you will get some in the reddish tone uh, suppose i just turn it off here is reddish tone just uh, gone that's why i just uh, give some the gradient map which is multicolors and it makes more natural okay then i'll make a group again and make merge this one and i'll increase the sharpness sharpness of this one uh, before that i'll give some gradient uh, i'll take a blank layer and it, i'll keep it black and i'll take gradient from gra here and choose the gradient of the your last one and give over here Control t transform this one okay that's good what uh, why i have done this one um, the focus of the uh, picture is that your model not in a ground that's why just i've given some you know the de highlight of the gradient in the bottom of the picture okay that's good and now i'll make another group and make it merge after that i'll make another copy of this image and i will make it the vivid light why i am giving this type of vivid light uh, okay i'm showing you i will go to filter and other than high pass high pass is a sharpness increasing technique but uh, not increase more sharpness of this of your image um, otherwise it will be pixel light okay i'll give it only 0.5 percent or 0.3 percent okay 0.3 percent is enough make a group and make it merge after that i'll go to the filter and then nick collection i'll give also this nick collection plugins link in my video description and don't forget to subscribe uh, for this amazing um, the plugins uh, and one thing is that if you want to use your uh, use this google nick collection your pc configuration should be high okay here is i mean i have used uh, the cross processing cross processing uh, effect and here is some filters i choose which fil which filter is more attractive i think l08 is good okay and then i'll make it five six percent and hit okay it will take time it's loading uh, if you want to use the Google Nick collection and the Photoshop uh, Creative Cloud, you should change or upgrade your PC configuration just because of you need the use or high configuration PC. Um, it should be uh, or extra memory, extra AGP card. Uh, just because of uh, the plugins are too heavy, and um, you know, if you want to get the more better output then you have to increase your pc configuration that's good okay uh, we have done lots of layers and the folders 
and uh, what happened uh, or what was the previous image or uh, the raw image this one is our raw image and this one is our edited image after that if you want to uh, place your logo or your uh, watermark on your picture then you will you will have to go to the filter uh, then the place embedded option and where you have just uh, export your logo uh, go to that that folder i, I, mean, I just uh, export it here and i'll just press it place over there after that um, and if you want to move this one we'll have to just move it normally and the black is not sufficient or the not perfect for this image uh, just because of the background is blackish your logo is blackish and i'm going to blending option and change the blending color overlay i just given okay that's good and the reduce the opacity nice if you want to uh, give any kind of uh, watermark or any kind of uh, the write up over there you can change the option okay control a and just keep on the middle um, i think this one is but if I use over there, no, here is good. This place is too good. Okay, and making another group and making a merge of this group. This one is our final output, and that is our raw image. What's the change? A huge change the color and the skin tone and the uh, the shari colors and the trees also and the highlighted and shadows the face everything okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend